<clears throat> hey everybody. I hope that you are all doing well. I decided to start my morning with some art. And now I lost my pen. Oh, there we go. All right. So I started by drawing these this morning. And I got some cleanup to do. But I'm super excited. Um, basically what I did is I drew these up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and print them out on heavier cardstock. So let me go and take a look. Yeah, so basically we're going to be making another Mickey window piece today. But everyone really liked the Runaway Railway, so I thought we would do Goofy and Potato Land. We'll just let everybody join us. All right. I'm super excited. All right. <clears throat> so what I did was I went ahead and I drew these out. And then I scanned them using my cell phone, which I found this really great new app that I can actually scan, which I think is pretty darn awesome. And basically what I'm going to do is import them into a Word document. And I want to keep them so that they'll fit. Because what we're going to do is we're going to start by printing off in just a moment that Mickey shape that we always do. Um, I've got it saved in on my brother's scanning cut, so it should be pretty easy. All right. And I will respond to comments in just a moment. I apologize. I'm just getting everything set up. All right, let's see if I can print this all on one sheet of paper and then you will see it momentarily. I'm so excited. I think this one is going to be a ton of fun. One of my favorite ones I ever did was the Mickey Runaway Railway. So I'm so excited to be visiting that again. I have yet to go on that ride, but it is one that I can't wait for the next time that we're able to go to the parks and uh, visit so all right <clears throat> so while we are waiting for that to print 
let's go ahead and get some card stock. And then we are going to get our little Mickey printed out. And the only reason I didn't show myself drawing the art, um, I have a lot of videos where if you want to see me drawing art, um, please go and check out the rest of our channel. I've got a lot of those. Um, it took me this morning probably about 45 minutes to draw what you see. So I didn't want you to spend your whole morning waiting for me to draw. I just wanted to get right in there and start crafting. All right. So now I've got everything all set so I can take a look and see. Oh, hi, Mike Wheeler. Hope you are well. All right. So we'll go and get our Mickey cut. Oh, that's so weird. You can see like my shadow of me there. It's kind of fun. All right. I have a ceiling fan going. Oh, I can't wait. It is, I, I honestly, I cannot wait to be able to go on that ride. Cannot wait. Hey, Celine, mommy's live right now. What's up? Okay. All right. So now we're going to get these all cut out. Hi, Hi guys. You all coming to see what I'm doing right now? I'm working on okay. some stuff. Hey, guys. You're bowling. You're bowling. Oh, kids are bowling while mommy's crafting. That's okay. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Let's get this all loaded. All right. Let's go ahead and get this all cut out. Kids are so cute. They wanted to just to see what I was working on, and they were downstairs playing with this little bowling game that they have. And oh, oh, oh. So apparently, apparently I'm going to have to use some tape. Now the question you ask is where did I put the tape, right? All right. A little bit of tape, we'll just kind of hold it in place. Uh, sometimes when you have older mats or if the mats start to become unsticky, that helps a lot. So let's go ahead and get this all cut out. Now I do like to use the cardstock just because it's a nice heavy base for our Mickeys. Um, the other reason I'm going to definitely use the brown cardstock today is because we're creating Potato Land. Now I'm using a new software program to to record today. Um, let me just go grab this, and uh, I'm going to see how this goes.
<clears throat> all right. So now we've got Mickey all cut out. And again, I just have a little bit of that tape on there. Hey, Liam and friends and family, and I'm going to Walt Disney World. Hope you guys are doing good. And then I realized that my microphone was giving you guys a double. So I just fixed that. Hopefully that's better. All right. All right. Hopefully that is better. Are you guys getting any feedback or echoes? Sorry about all that. Still learning this new process. So I apologize if you had double and triple audio there. Hopefully it is better. Okay. Can everybody hear me now, though? Everything okay? Hopefully this sounds okay. All right. Well, let's get going. If we're starting to hear double sounds, if you guys could just tell me. So what I did was I went ahead and printed it off. So here it is, this is my art. So I took the art that I had drawn, I scanned it with my phone, and now I'm printing it off. So, so cute. And we're gonna make this on the Mickey. So we will need that Brother Scan and Cut back one more time. Perfect, thanks Mike. All right. So depending on what you heard before or not, um, I hand drew this art before I went live because it took me about 45 minutes and I didn't want to have like a five hour stream. I'm just gonna get that on there so that it holds it in place. So hopefully everyone is doing well. The kids are downstairs having fun bowling. Mom's up here having a crafty moment, which I love. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out. So when you do this, you have to start by scanning. And then let's take a look and see how this shows up on my screen. I really don't want to cut it out by hand, so I'm hoping it finds all the lines that I want it to.
try it again. Yeah, it is hot. Although we did have here in Wisconsin, we had a nice week of almost fall like weather, which was really nice, really well needed. All right. Okay, so that found the edges much better. Okay, so we want it to do a nice outline for us. And we want it to cut that little piece. That's what I've heard, Mike. I've heard a lot of people talking about how it's been super hot and then really like comfortable at night. And then all of a sudden it just warms up and the weather's been all over the place for you guys. All right. Well, my brother Scan and Cut might not want to cut this today. That's all right. So my plan is to make this one look like potato land. So because it's already like a, you know, craft brown, we're going to make that actually look like, I'm going to try one more thing. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just cut this out myself. So yeah, I think it's going to be fun. I definitely have had those kind of vacations in Florida too, Mike. All right, let's just see if we can just cut out Goofy. Maybe they'll let us just cut out Goofy. Come on. All right, it appears to want to cut out Goofy, so that is good. So let's see if we can get it just to find this one. It wants to cut out the whole thing, and all I want is an outline. So I think we'll be cutting out Potato Land on our own. That's all right. So let's go and let's cut out goofy quick he was the one I was more concerned about anyway let's go ahead and get him cut out and then I'll just cut out potato land on my own Thank you. 
the nice part is that it actually is going to cut Goofy out nice and close to his lines. So that will save me a lot. Oh, he is so thin. There we go. Ta-da! Goofy! <laughs> I almost feel like I could do like some stop animation with the black. Where is he? There he is. Like, hello everybody! Come on in! We're crafting today! It only took me a little bit to get it to work, but now it's working. Alright, so we're going to cut out Potato Land manually. It happens. Life is rough, right? No big deal. I think what I'm going to start doing, though, is just cutting it out closer. We'll color, and then we'll cut them out completely. And we'll leave adorable little Goofy just hanging out up here, dreaming about potato land. So there he is. All right. Let's get color in here. So yeah, I'm not sure if I love this new software. I'm playing with it a little bit. It's kind of fun because I can toss up your comments, which I think is cool. Um, I can toss up some information. Like I can do one of these fun things, like make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, love to go live showing off crafts and arts and all kinds of fun stuff. All right. So let's start coloring in some potato land. Hope everyone is doing well and is healthy and safe. Nice. No worries, Mike. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and I hope to have you come on back and visit. Sorry that you had to watch me get the machine up and running, but I do appreciate you stopping by. It's been a while since I've gone live, and I know it was kind of an unexpected surprise, but uh, I got some new software that I've been playing around with, and I thought, you know what? I really want to do another one of these, so let's just see if anybody's hanging out today, crafting, or Oh, thanks, Amanda. Appreciate it. These are from the new Mickey Mouse shorts. And not like shorts, but like the Mickey Mouse shorts. Uh, they're on Disney Plus. You can watch them. The kids have gotten really, really interested in them. They've been enjoying them, which is fun. Right now, we're just going to get that potato land sign all colored in. Oh, 
And we, um, on Team Mold, we have been working on some more DIY cooking. So we're really excited to share some of that with you guys. That's coming soon. Uh, we went through and found a whole bunch of recipes for not only Disney things, but some other locations that we thought it'd be really fun to share um, how to cook. Uh, my husband, if I can draw, he can cook. That's kind of his, that's our, that's our deal. He's uh, a really good cook. He, I love it. I'll send him off and say, Hey, we want to try this. And he'll go find a recipe and it's pretty awesome. So We've got some new stuff. And in case you haven't seen it, we did do ratatouille, which was really good. Um, I think it's more of a, it needed something else with it though. I'll be really honest. Like it needed more to the dish. It wasn't bad. It just was missing something. I'm just going to color in that potato. And I think I might actually make a bunch more potatoes to put around. Not sure yet. And it's kind of fun because I'm able to, you know, put up your comments on here. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, have you stopped by before? And do you have an idea of one of these window things that I should do next? Like I know I've done Bugs Life. Um, we have also done Mary Poppins and Bert and different Toy Story characters. So that's been a lot of fun. I was going to put a hammer in his hand. Um, if you've seen the cartoon, Goofy has this dream of going to Potato Land. And uh, his friends make it happen. I think it's kind of cool. Good friends, right? Oops, it's more peach. I want a gray. A little shadow in there. The two tone wood down here just to make it a little fancier since they did everything on the diagonals. I found a picture of the potato land and so I drew it from that. And it was weird because the picture didn't really show this one, although it looked shorter. So it was like the pieces of wood that Mickey used to create this weren't even. Um, although, if you watch the short, I mean, they literally build an entire theme park for Goofy in a matter of short amount of time, so. Get some shadows on those potatoes. There we go. Oh my God, I think you are my first super chat. Oh my gosh, Mike Wheeler. Oh my God, you made my day. I have not, you are my, I'm, I am going to take a screenshot right now because I have never had a... Oh, thank you. We uh, proudly hit a 1,000, and our subscriber levels have been jumping pretty quickly. So thank you. That really... Mike, you made my day. You made my day, Mike. Thank you so much. All of the... You know, obviously anything that we make from our YouTube channel, we put back into it to buy crafts and supplies. And um, so Mike Wheeler, $4.99, I think I'm your first super chat. And you are. Thank you. That really means a lot. I, I'm. You just made my day. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I literally. You definitely are my very first super chat. So I'm even going to throw it up on the screen. That's so cool. You know, never, 
never asked for, but you know, we definitely appreciate it. It helps support our channel. And um, thank you so much. So now you know what I'm going to be talking about for the rest of the day. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so much fun when you're on YouTube and, you know, different features unlock that you can kind of play around with. And, you know, like I said, never, ever expected, you know, I share it out, you know, everything else, but so cool that, you know, we're starting to get to the point where um, when we get to our next level, we can all throw t-shirts. So we've been designing some cool stuff and you made my day. We're just going to go in and add some shadow. There we go. All right. This is going to look so cute. Now, I want to do the banners and like a, something bright because there's so much brown on here. I'm just afraid that we are going to lose the detail if everything is brown. So, we're going to do some bright blue. And a lot of people ask me, you know, what do you do with these? And I've made other ones. So, like, if you haven't seen it before, here's the other one. <clears throat> so that's the Mickey Mini Railway. And so what I thought I would do is just do another one kind of based on the cartoon. And what a lot of people have done with these... Um, we have made them for years and with my family, what we typically will do is we'll put them up in the hotels. So I have a laminator and I'll go in and laminate them. And then I go in and put these up in our room in our windows, which is so cool. Um, Cause then we can, people walk by and they'll, you know, we had, we've had people before like take pictures of them and um, it's it's just so cool. Um, the other thing that I've had lately now since we've been at home and I've been doing some more of these for people, I've done some custom ones. Um, I actually had a lady who purchased one that I made for her, Haunted Mansion style. Um, and she actually took it and put it in a shadow box. And so she put it up in her house. So it's so cool. It means so much to me. Um, you know what I mean? It just means so much to me that people have done that and cared. You know what I mean? Like, I love that. Like, it's I love to do this. And being able to share my artistic skills, it's just, it means a lot to me. You know what? I'm going to try and run this through the Brother Scanning Cup one more time. So we're going to try one more time, guys. Fingers crossed. Now that it's colored... Maybe it'll see it better. Honestly, it's the only down cut, you know, to the brother scan and cut. I think sometimes it does. Oops. I'm going to slide my mat over there. Sometimes I think it does an absolutely fabulous job. And then there are times when the brother scan and cut, like, I don't know if it sits too long, you know, between uses or what its issue is. But some days it's like, no, no, I'm on vacation today. I'm not, I'm not cutting that. That's cute. But thank you, though. At least that's what it feels like. All right. So let's get potato land cut out. All right, Scan, you can do it. I know you can do it, right? All right. Find Mickey. Cut him out. <clears throat> One of the things I'm working on with this software is being able to have it full screen. Um, right now, today, I had to use a cell phone. So I'm definitely kind of testing it out. And I appreciate you guys that are here with me today. Because project-wise, it's still a fun project. At least it's got the black on either side. So hopefully it's not too... Monsters Inc. love it. Like a big Mike Wazowski or something, or Mike and Sully. Actually, it'd be fun to make. What's that guy? Uh, what's the purple? What's the purple guy that disappears? I can't 
can't think of his name. Oh, or a baby Mike Wazowski from university. Oh my goodness. That would be so cute. I love baby Mike Wazowski. Oh, see, now it's going to find it. So we're going to okay that. Yep, that's fine. We want a little bit of, mm, do we want some distance around it? Nah. Um, all right, let's see what we get. Fingers crossed. Okay, go cut Mickey. <laughs> All right, it's cutting on Mickey, so that's good. Because then when it's done, I can just stop it. I think that's what I want to draw. I want to do Mike Wazowski. Hey, Make It Blue, how are you? I know you were at the end of a sad week, but I'm happy you're here. All right, we're going to quit. Take that out. Might have a little cleanup to do, but we'll take a look and see what it did. It's still better than me cutting it out by hand. Ooh, super thin, super thin. Cute! See, all I gotta do now is just a little bit of cleanup work instead of having to cut the whole thing. So that's great. I love that. Yeah, no, as we say, the Monsters Inc. one, what I picture, I love, um, if you've seen Monsters University, I love when little Mike Wazowski puts on the little Monster University hat and it's too big and it kind of falls off his head. That would be really fun. I love that one. That would be a fun, fun one to try. And because of how large this banner is on this side, I have to do a little bit of fussy cutting. Fussy cutting is just if um, you're not in card maker world or crafting, it just means that we're cutting it as close as we can to make it replicate, you know, what it did over there. Cute. Potato land. And I just got to get around Mickey because the lines were just a little too tight for the brother scan and cut over here. Now what I'm going to do is put it on our Mickey shape. And like I said before, the, um, the one that I did as a custom order, um, she had me do a haunted mansion and she framed it. She went and got a 10 by 10 shadow box. Um, these are eight by eight when I make them. And um, so she framed it. So what she did was she took this, framed it, matted it right to the back. And so then it was in a shadow box with a maybe about a fourth of an inch rise. It was really cool. She sent me a picture of it. I'll have to post it up on our Instagram. Oh, let's see. Doing well. Just finished a crafting stream drawing. Nice. I love my iPad and I love that software. I need to do more of it. Randall. Yes. Good job, Amanda. Randall. I couldn't think of his name. I was like, you know, the guy that disappears and all that good stuff. All right. <clears throat> Who's not really a bad guy, and then he becomes a bad guy. Oh, my goodness. This is so cute. I kind of want to put it off to the side so you can still kind of see. But then this is going to need something to support it just a little bit more. Oh, Oh my gosh, look at what my brother Scanna cut did to Goofy. It's like he has two bones, like femurs. You see that? All right, we'll have to fake that. Fun.
definitely need something in the background, but I'm not sure what yet. What do you guys think I should put in the background? Because I got the Potato Land banner. I've got Goofy. What do I need? I'm just not sure. All right, Goofy, you're going to get a little bit of surgery here. He lost his little arm. So what do you guys think? What does he, what does this need? It needs something. And I'm going to be really honest. Last time when I did the Runaway Railway, um, the reason it ended up looking the way it did was because I had some amazing suggestions while I was online. All right, so I attached a little sheet of white paper behind Goofy's arm. Yeah, like an outline. I can do an outline of the sign. That's easy. I think it needs something bolder, though, and I just, I'm not sure what. And if I put a stack of potatoes, it's brown. <clears throat> so it definitely needs something else. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Does it zoom in a little bit more? There we go. Need something. <laughs> well, let's go back to railway. What did we add back there? We added some trees and a sun. <laughs> well, we can cover and goofy while we think on that, right? For Goofy, new cartoon. I just want to make sure if he looks, I know he looks different. Just want to make sure I color him in to match. Okay, so his little hat is just green. Okay, so that's easy. And his little vest is yellow. So that's easy. And just like Mickey, we're going to do him in the gray. Ooh, a potato peeler. <laughs> Maybe we can make a red potato peeler or something. I think it needs a bright color or it needs a bright something. There's a little too much brown with all of the... That was my only worry about making that background that color, but maybe we could do something fun. button on there oh it's orange okay can do there a little darker shade we'll give him some shadows Ooh, you know what maybe i can merge the two i am so happy with this drawing i think the the problem i have only with the new disney you know the shorts is that the characters, their lines are so thin that you lose a lot of detail. <clears throat> it's just kind of a bummer. You know, they're they're very I don't I don't uh, Ren and Stimpy kind of. If anybody gets that one, um, 
There he is. Do -do -do. Where is he? I'm so get him to go the right way. There he is. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. <laughs> hey, James, how are you? Yeah, we do a lot of crafts at Team Mold. Um, I do a lot of art, and uh, we have made a ton of these really fun Disney. They're supposed to be, like, you put them in your window at your resort when you go to the parks. Um, but obviously, with people not being able to go right now, a lot of people have actually been having me make these custom for them. And then they put them in 10 by 10 shadow boxes, which is so cool, because then that means they'll stay at their house and they'll have them as art. And, I, and that's so cool. I love being able to, you know, be creative and artistic and share all of this fun stuff with you everyone here on the chat. So I had an idea. There he is. Hey, James. All right. So Mickey mini railway theme park. What does that look like? I'm going to go see if I can find a picture. Aw. Well, thank you, James. I appreciate that. I, you know, it, it definitely is one of those things that, you know, I was given a gift from my family that my mom and my grandmother are amazing artists. And I'm so lucky that I was able to, I was able to, you know, inherit that gene. So. All right. So I found a picture from Mickey's Runaway Railway where there's a roller coaster and Mickey and Minnie are sitting on this little hot dog sign and they got balloons. I wonder if maybe I could draw like a theme park in the background. So will it be inspired by that without being that? So let's go this way with it. And you might say, why am I doing this? It's so that I can kind of see where I need to draw. Oh, that's awesome, James, you're a moderator. I haven't hit, I haven't done enough live streams yet to have moderators, although I probably should eventually, although everybody here has been good so far, so we haven't needed them, right? Knock on wood. All right. So I'm going to... We're going to go this way. And I know it's a perfect half circle. Ooh, there we go. And then in the Mickey and Minnie Railway, Runaway Railway, they have these blue banners. So let's do that. All right. And that comes down like that. And I love to draw in black pen. Um, I think it's a challenge. I think that it's fun because then I know that if I screw up, I'm stuck with what I did. So I kind of view it as a challenge to myself. So we're just drawing in the little dotted lines. I think this will help it. All right. So then it has... Well, knock on wood, I haven't yet, but I'm really glad that you have moderators that are able to help you. I know that that, uh, you know, it definitely helps. All right. So if you look at the Mickey Railway, they've got these going through. And then the rest of the coaster kind of comes up and over. So this one is more like in the background. <clears throat> and then what they did.
So I'm kind of mixing the two together. And again, you see how long it takes to draw some of this and color it in. Again, that's why I started the stream with me already drawing some of the characters because I just, it takes a long time. All right, so there's that. Let's make sure it's connected so that it's realistic that the roller coaster is being held up. Nice, James. That's the way to do it, though, because then you challenge yourself that you have to be right on. And I think that's a ton of fun to try. All right. See, now if I color that in, now that'll add a little bit of... <gasps> I know what he needs. Okay. I love this. This is what I love doing this live. And I'm going to draw grass down here. It looks like in the shorts, they're all like these little bubbly bushes like this. Kind of reminds me of Mario Brothers. All right. <clears throat> Oh, but you know what? I didn't go all the way to the bottom. That's all right. We'll color it in. It'll look great. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me while I'm doing this. I appreciate it. Crafting really is kind of my way to kind of, you know, let go of some of that stress and be creative and crafty. And oh, it looks like a little horse right now. All right. So in Mickey Mini Railway, it is green. So we are going with green, which I think will be good. Nice and bold. All right, so now that we've got that set, there's our banner, there's some grass. We are gonna put down some green grass on the bottom of this. Oops, with the thicker marker. Ah! And there they go. All right, so then when we put this on there, we will match it up and we will do the dark green down here. Now it'll be just the shade lighter because obviously that was on brown cardstock, but that's okay. No worries. Maybe we'll put some critters in the grass or something. And again, that's why I love to do this because you guys have great ideas and being able to kind of creatively work through this together is so much fun. And then when I see them hanging up on the walls or up at the hotels, it's so exciting. It's just so much fun to see that, you know, the idea that I had kind of brought to life one, but then two, having it, you know, be displayed as somebody's piece of art that they love and enjoy. I mean, that just... Frosting on the cake, right? All right, so I need to make sure that lines up. There we go. Oh, so cute. See, you guys are right. Totally needed a background. <clears throat> All right, so now we've got that. We've got Goofy going. We need the banners colored in. Now, when I look at Mickey and Minnie's Railway, 
it's kind of green in the background and it has little stars and stuff. So maybe we'll, we'll conquer that later. But I want to keep us on time. All right. We're going to put the same blue banners because obviously they've got them up on, you know, the potato sign. So why wouldn't they embellish with the same colors down here? And um, all of these are one of a kinds. I tried, we'll make similar ones again, but I try not to make the exact one. I just think that that's more fun, you know. Um, other videos I've done, I also did Baby Yoda. Um, so if you haven't seen that one, that one's really cute. Um, my husband, I mean, the Mandalorian child. Uh, my husband loves the Mandalorian, and I think they just announced recently. Um, Season two do, uh, date for that. And I want to say it's October 7th. I'm guessing. I think it's October 7th. Something like that. <clears throat> so he is super excited for that. And can't oh, wait. And I don't know if any of you are on Netflix or watching any Netflix. We just finished um, season two of the Umbrella Academy. Really enjoyed it. Very different. Um, I'm not usually into darker kind of comic stuff like that, but it was actually really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Definitely one that we had to wait to watch till the kids went to sleep, but um, way worth it. Enjoyed all those characters. So what do you guys think? It is coming along pretty well, I think. Oh my God, so cute. All right, now I need some shadowing because otherwise it looks like that roller coaster just floats in the air. And as cool as that would be, that's probably not very, I mean, it's cartoon, so I mean, maybe it's realistic. And then I think what I'm going to do is actually make like a potato coaster. So it'll be a combination of Mickey's Runaway Railway and the cartoons. Oh my goodness, so cute. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I am so happy with this. What do you guys think so far? I think the roller coaster is going to need some little darker green in there. And at the uh, Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway, all of this is different colors. The background's kind of a green. Thank you. Like I said, I love being able to share my talents and it's so much fun to kind of just sit and talk with you guys and do some crafting. And I know that when we've done them before, um, the last time we went, we stayed at uh, Pop Century. <clears throat> we've stayed at Art of Animation, Wilderness Lodge, which is our favorite, um, as well as many others. And uh, we put them up. I remember one of the times we did some of these, and we put them up um, in Pop Century. And we actually had guests that would stop by, and, like, <laughs> they were taking pictures of them. And, like, it was so cool. Like, it just it felt so good to have, you know people caring for what I was doing. So that was really fun. All right. So I think we need some potato coasters quick. Although it almost looks like teeth right now, but it's not teeth. I promise. Okay. So if you were going to draw a little potato coaster, I guess look like a potato, right? 
Maybe there's the little seats. And then there'd be like the little road wheels. And one of the things I did when I was um, right out of high school. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh. Yeah, I love Dole Whip Dad's interview that I did. That was so much fun. I think it was what kind of got me going on. You know, I, I love YouTube. I love this platform. I love the Disney community. <clears throat> I love being able to, you know, connect with people, especially, you know, I think now since we've been in this <sighs> exciting pandemic times, sarcastic, right? Um, you know, it's so nice to connect with people again. <laughs> like there was a while when I kind of felt like, everyone was all alone in their own little islands and it's so nice to be able to connect with people again and it's amazing how you know you think oh you know i i, I don't need people blah 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 and boy that connection and friendship of other people who love the parks as much as i do it just it's such a wonderful blessing right now you know, to be able to have people that are enjoying that same kind of thing that I do. Oops, that is too dark. Where's my other brown? There it is. So we're just making a Tato coaster right now. So there it is. Do do do. Tato coaster. I know that it always seems like all the little details, but you know, it's those little details that when you're looking at this that just sort of bring it to life. Now, where is Mickey going to go? I'm thinking he's going to go there. So, potato coaster there. No, nope, because Goofy will be over here. No, I don't know where to put the potato coaster. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we'll put Mickey there, maybe. You know what? We're just going to put it right there like it's going up and over. So cute. Time to commit. There we go. Then we're just going to draw some shadows on there. Um, one of the things I love to do when I create these is to use a little bit of glitter pen as well. Now showing it at the angle I am right now, you don't really see it, but let me show you. you see it? Oh, there it is. There you can see it more. See how it just gives it that little bit of shadow? Love that. All right. Potato land. Here we go. I don't want it like that because then you don't see the Mickey. I kind of think that's where it's got to go. <clears throat> and you know what I need to do? Oh, here we go. Do, 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 oh, I don't want to do that. I kind of want to make this look like a potato. Little potato eyes. I was going to make it look like a sky, but you know what? I think it needs to stay a potato. I think that's that's the whole point. Oh, I have some new stuff I can use. Where is... All right, we are almost done. So thank you guys for hanging with me while we work on this. We are getting close. I think we are within a few minutes of having this all completed.
We will use some rusty color. All right. Just want to put a little color on that brown, on that potato. Almost looks like a little cheese, but it's not. When you see it in person, it just adds that little extra soft shadow. Ooh, that looks cool. Kind of pop it from just being the the, the brown craft paper. We're going to put a little more of this color on. Just a little shadowing. I love that what this is now is a combination of the new Disney shorts and the Runaway Railway, which I cannot wait to go to the parks. I mean, obviously, a little bit of time, but I cannot wait to be back there and enjoying. Oh, oh, that looks great. Okay, let me show you how this looks. All right, look, look how cool. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just learning how to use these inks that I just tried. And look at it, it just makes that potato just a little bit, just not random brown, but just a little bit more. All right, so let's get this guy together. Get him all done. So excited, we are so close. So we are just gonna glue this up. Oh, I need that piece of paper back. And again, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching while we're doing this. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. And um, don't forget, if you don't haven't already done it, go subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are Team Mold. That's Team M-O-U-L-D. And I not only do Disney DIY, but we also do a lot of cooking. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. Oh, my gosh. I love it. So now what I'm going to do is just put this little piece of paper back here because it needs just a little bit more stability. See, you wouldn't know that's there. All right. We'll hide our little ticker there. All right, so let's finish this up. I am so excited. Thank you, James. I am really proud of those banners too. I, uh, I think they look really shadowy, and I love that. It looks – I really like the blue banners. I love how you've done them. It looks so cool. It looks like they're billowed. I tried. You know, I love this. I think where we started, I think that adding just that little bit of the uh, dioxide distress ink around that outside just changed that up a lot so it didn't just look like a solid potato. I kind of think this potato needs it now, too. There. Okay. So we need to add Goofy, and we need to do just a little bit more work, and I think we are there. Oh, so cute. All right, I'm gonna dark, I'm gonna grab a dark gray really quick, and I'm gonna add some shadows. And thank you guys for your comments while you're on here. I love being able to share those, you know, being able to pop those up and share your feedback. Get some more shadows in there. And the nice part is I left a little bit of white so I can shadow that as my dark gray. I'm gonna shadow the sign. There's some spots on here where when the brother skin and cut, cut it out, it left it white. We'll just color those dark like shadows. That'll be perfect. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, look how cute he looks. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love this. I'm gonna put some shadows behind the potato land. Because just like the Disneyland sign, I want it to have that three-dimensional look. So like, you know, Mickey went all out for Goofy here to make this really fun theme park. We'll do a little shadowing behind Mick. There we go. Just a little. Just to make sure that he kind of pops. Oop, I got to do his shoes. Little buttons. Now, if I was not going to laminate this, I would probably use foam risers. And what that would do is make Goofy kind of three-dimensional. So if I knew somebody was going to frame this and not maybe put it up on there, you know what? I want to do the foam risers. <laughs> We're just going to do it. They are one of my favorite tools to use uh, when I'm crafting. Uh, basically, they just add a little space between whatever you are applying things to. Um, card makers use them to give it that three-dimensional look. Um, other artists may use it also to kind of give that three-dimensional pop. And I apologize, I'm losing my voice a little bit. <clears throat> so I think this one will never be a window fling. This one will have to be framed. But I think that's okay. And a lot of people ask me, well, you know, like, where do you get the frames? Like when I talked about the small shadow boxes, um, Michaels has them. Um, they also have them at Hobby Lobby. I have also seen them at Ikea and Amazon. And literally for this size, you would just need a 10 by 10. Because then that gives everything a nice, you know, so the, the art isn't touching the edge of the frame. So it would give it a little bit of a border. So now what I'm doing is I'm peeling off all the little stickies off the back of this. And it's kind of a pain because these foam risers are really tiny. I'm used to using much larger. Oh my gosh, Goofy, you're going to look so cute, all three-dimensional. Yeah, that's where he's going, right there. Boom. Oh, I love it. Okay, you have to see this. All right, let me show it to you from the side. Okay, this is entirely too cute. Now, I don't know if you can tell. See how he pops off the page a little bit? See how that looks? Now, I draw everything in three dimensions. So it's kind of almost like I'm drawing the cartoon, right? Because some of this stuff is in two dimensions. See how Goofy just pops off of there a little bit? Oh, my goodness, guys. I love it. Ta-da! Potato land! Goofy needs a potato in his hand or something. No, let's not go crazy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign it down here at the bottom. I signed all of the ones that I do. Um, I do view them as a piece of my art because I obviously I drew the art. I went in, I created this on the fly with you today. It was a ton of fun. I love it. I, I love to be able to do this on my channel. So if you enjoy this, um, definitely subscribe. And I will be uh, doing more of these, I think, in the future. I, I, I want to figure out how to get the software so it's a full screen for you guys because I think that'll help a little bit. But I definitely like the new software. I love being able to pop up your replies. Yeah, no, I love this. Thank you, James. I love it. It's so cute. See, now if you put that now, if I would have done like maybe this in the riser or maybe done a little more even with the three dimension. That's so cute. Yay! All right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Thank you, James. 
And thank you all for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. This has been fun. What an exciting day. Um, I haven't done this in a little while live and I really miss it. I think it's so much fun to kind of communicate with you guys while I do this, talk a little Disney talk and uh, so cute. And again, I just pulled inspiration for this right from, um, oh, you know what? No, I want to leave it because it needs some white space. Um, you know, being able to pull some ideas from what you guys shared, as well as what I found using a combination of the Disney shorts, as well as the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway. So I think these two, look at how cute they look together. Oh, my goodness. So adorable. Like, I'm just... Sometimes I even surprise myself when I draw. Um, like I have an idea in my head and then to kind of see it come out full circle. It just, it makes me so happy that this turned out exactly how my brain, but even better than my brain kind of told me to do it. So I am so happy with this. I'm just going to add some shadow behind Goofy here. Even though he's three-dimensional, he would still have a shadow, so. All right, there we go. Love that. That just cleans it all up. Um, I don't have an Etsy site. I do have, let me show you guys where I've been putting all of these. Um, I mean, I do have an Etsy store that I use. Um, but I do have a team mold store um, and our team mold store is right there. So if you guys want to go and take that, uh, take a look at that. Um, I already added up the Mickey runaway railway um, because we're not going to the parks for a little while. I wanted to be able to share this as art. So if somebody is interested, um, we definitely offer these. If you were interested in a custom one, all you'd have to do is toss me an email. And I would love to, or direct message through our website, and I would love to, you know, work with you. Again, I just did a Haunted Mansion one that uh, I can't wait to share it. It's really fun, and I love to be able to create these one-of-a-kinds for everybody. I just feel like Goofy needs some more dirtying up. I feel like he looks a little too clean for the new cartoon. Maybe some little shadow dots just might fix him up there. Yeah, but thank you for um, thank you for asking that, James. Good question. So there they are. So cute. But now this one couldn't be laminated. This one would have to be, you know, put in a shadow box. But he will show up on our website. Um, I will get him up there probably sometime today, but I just want to take a moment and thank you guys. This was so much fun and, uh, I will be back.